In No Man's Sky, you're free to look like anything you want. Is it just me, or is it getting extremely cold in here? Because I'm terrified. But can you say the same for your ship? No. Bummer, right? Well, boy, do I have the thing for you. The No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange on Reddit. There, you can find the best-looking ships in the entire universe, and some bad ones, too, because people just have terrible taste. I mean, look at that thing. So stick around and learn how to get just the ship that you want. Well, here we are on step one. Uh, ignore the activate Windows thing. I'm just a cheap person and don't want to pay the $100 for Windows. But um, our, our step one, or step one of step one, will be to go to Reddit. I have this ship right here, but reddit.com because we want to find the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange and uh like i've got it i i'm a member of it down here but you can find it if you're not a member of uh, just by searching it up in the top nms coordinate oh it'll if you do nms it'll probably come up and see so you click on it and here you are and you can join it for uh later notice and here you can find any ship go away sony uh here you can look at all these these ships uh, you can find any any ship, any uh, freighter, just and any <laughs> any adorable creature. It's it's a really great place. Like look at that thing. That's so cool. And it's in the Euclid Galaxy. So I have my ship bookmarked right here. So this is the one that I found uh, a while back, and this one didn't work for me, and that was because. It was in the Hyades, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, I might not be, the Hyades Galaxy instead of the Euclid Galaxy. I will explain why you have to, why that didn't work for me, because I was, but really in a nutshell, I was in the Euclid Galaxy. If you're in the Euclid Galaxy, you have to choose a ship that is in the Euclid Galaxy, not the Hyades or any other of the 256 galaxies total. And so if you haven't switched galaxies, you're in the Euclid galaxy. If you have, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. I can't help you with that. Um, but in the meantime, uh, pick something. I, I, I'm recording this step one after everything else. That's why, how I know this. But just remember, go if you're in Euclid, go to Euclid. If you're in another galaxy, go to that galaxy. In any case, uh, Let's let's find some let's find a ship that we think is cool. Uh, say it, say it's this one. I'm not going to be using this one. I'm going to be using the one that I bookmarked. Uh, but say we're doing this one. Most of them will have these coordinates down here. So let's. How about like you can even save it just so that it, like if you have an account, so you can find it later on or bookmark it up here. Bookmark the link. But look, open. Let's open the image in a new tab after right-clicking, and I don't know how to zoom in, but that's that looks that looks pretty crisp. We can see these are this is the these are the portal codes that we are going to enter later on, and uh, I'll tell you how to do that later. But I'm just remember this image and or this post and keep it around so because you'll need it later on. So step two is going to be assemble your portal glyphs. The portal glyphs are going to be used to uh, encode the a portal that you find with the various glyphs that uh, you were given at possibly at the bottom left of the um, screenshot that you found on Reddit, like the one that I did, or maybe just it could be they could have enlarged it or giving it in um, numbers. Uh, but really what we're going to be focusing on is those, those glyphs. So if you haven't already gotten to a certain part in the story, I believe it's the purge. It's that's a in the main story. The purge will every warp you do from system to system, you will get a glyph. So if you haven't already, I strongly recommend going to that because you need glyphs. You need a certain amount of you need the glyphs that the portal can that the portal code contains. So you don't there are 16 portal glyphs. Um, you don't necessarily need all 16 but it's best to have them there is an alternative method which is to find if you come into a new system you may find a traveler sitting in this side of the uh space station a traveler somewhere around here they look different i think you would know what a traveler looks looks like because uh you can just you can 
dress as one. Sometimes there's, there's on the off chance that you do find a traveler, you can talk to them and ask them uh, where they came from after you, you interact with them once and then you interact with them again and you ask them where they came from for maybe for maybe like 100 nanites maybe it's 25 i forget but um have nanites on hand for that too and so once you ask them where they came from they will give they will mark a um an ancient location i forget what it's called like a an uh anomaly location or something on some planet you go down to that you find their grave you interact with it and you get one glyph but that's a lot slower than just getting to the purge and then repeatedly warping so i strongly recommend doing the purge for this step three is actually to obviously find and use the portal so to find a portal you have to go to the cartographer on a space station such as the one right here they're always right here you interact with them and what you want to do is to exchange maps. You want to have some uh, navigational data on hand for this because you need one for each chart you buy, and you'll need multiple. Um, I believe what you want is alien cartographic data right here, this bottom one. I'm just gonna buy as many as I can. No, actually, I, I only need like five. On the off chance that you that you get like a, a ruin instead of a portal, then you, you, you'll want to uh, use another one. So let's use those right now to locate. Alien artifact. That's not what we want. <laughs> so um, let's use another one. Nothing found. Alien monolith. That's still not what we want. So, you want to travel to the monolith. Which one is this? I don't want an alien artifact. Ancient plaque monolith. That's what we want. Nope, nope, no. Stop. Okay. Alright, so we are here. We've gotten to the monolith. So, we're. Uh, it, it's in the middle of a storm, which is somewhat inconvenient, and I'm lagging like hell. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So we're here. The storm is clearing. The sun will probably not come out for <laughs> another few minutes, but uh, we are going to want to interact with the monolith. You can even get these uh, these uh, knowledge stones if you want to learn. What you're going to want to do is interact with the monolith here, but it's going to give you a puzzle. I feel a strange chill. Uh, layer of frozen gas. Okay. There is one small gap in the crystal ice, and I feel so convinced that I could feel some of the, my mind elements coming through it so that they can come in con contact with the monolith behind. So I'm just gonna go for it and see if I can get it first try. You can't really come back if you put in the wrong one. I... wait, is this a... Oh, organic element. Ah, correct. So if you do that one, the organic is what you want. And so, I probably should have said this earlier, but what you're... Oh, we've got a uh, Viking effigy. So, if if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, they will... They want a... They will tolerate a request, and that is to locate a portal. For that, we're going to need uh, one of the uh, special item of the, um, the inhabiting system. For my system, it's Viking, so we're going to want a Viking dagger. For other systems, like for Corvax, I believe it's a Corvax casing. Uh, and I'm gonna go get a, a Viking dagger. The best way to get this, if you don't have one on hand, the most dependable way is to go to an NPC at a trading post. Alright, so after a little bit of uh, mental flailing around and trying to figure out what to do because I thought that there was no way of getting the uh, navigational data that I needed to find the trade station, trade place, uh, center, uh, whatever you call it, trade settlement that I wanted uh, without just like randomly going to other space stations and hoping they had it in the random things that you can get it from. I realized that if you have, uh, let me show you this, if you have a, the economy scanner 
installed in your starship, then you can do this. Go to, oh, let me show you. You go to the quick menu, you go all the way to the left to utilities, and scan for trade outpost. And it's right there. And that is where we want to go to get our, for me, it's a Viking dagger. For you, it may also be a, it might be a Corvax casing or a uh, Gek relic. So in any case, there are already starships coming in here, and that's exactly what we want. We want to talk to these people, and we want to buy our uh, item from them. Might might be prudent just to buy a couple in case we have to do this again, who knows. See, Viking Dagger right there. there are, I, I don't think they're guaranteed to have it, but it's a high chance. So I'm just going to snag that. Actually, I'm going to buy one more, just to be prepared. And... Um, we're back off to the monolith. That took an extremely long time to finally do this, but I can finally locate the portal with one Gek Relic. Energy surge detected, portal ley line located. Is that it? That is it. Here we are. This is our portal. So for this part, um, I hope you have the um, portal glyphs of the the portal glyph sequence of the um, the ship you selected or the freighter. Even it could be a freighter as well, the ship or freighter. You have those on hand. So now what you're going to use is actually uh, you're going to need to charge these up. Organ a stellar material. I don't have. Uh, organic elements, catalytic elements, and earth elements. So for stellar material, it's the stellar metals, the copper, cadmium, emerald, indium, and activated copper. For organic, it is carbon, condensed carbon, or oxygen. Uh, catalytic, sodium or sodium nitrate. And for earth, it is dihydrogen, deuterium, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, cobalt, ionized cobalt, and salt. Luckily, I have e a lot of everything except for copper, which I will have to get a lot of. So I'm going to charge these up, get some copper, and come back. Alright, so I'm going to charge up the last of the glyphs. I'm oh, it's- oh my god, it's 20 copper each. I hope I had- 80. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, okay. Oh, I've done it. Okay. Now the portal's going to activate. Uh, catching my notebook. That's where I have all my notes for this video written down. Beg me. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I'm unsure if I should listen. Uh, shut up. I'm going to activate the portal. Okay, so you're going to enter your, I believe, 12 digit. There are 16 portal glyphs, but it's your 12 digit code. There can be repeats sometimes. So I have the uh, bird first, I believe. We have insect. And I believe I input them correctly, and this should be I sh this should be the portal address of my specific ship. You can put you can stop at that um, if you want to go to the same ship that go to the same the system of the same ship that I'm going to. Then you can pause the video right at that place. You can go back and pause the video right uh, when I had put in the last one, and it all glows at the top of the screen. But for now, I will... You can always select your own, and I will go through the portal. I'm floating. In the middle of a storm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, seems seems promising. Gonna get in my ship and just save. Well, oh, we're now on step four. Oh, that's loud. Uh, we're on step four. Get to your ship, which is right here, and take off and find that space station. Uh, remember your um unless for some just by some amazing coincidence the system that you're going to is a neighboring system you will not be anywhere anywhere within warp distance uh with your ship's warp drive uh once you uh 
get to your destination. So you're going to have to go to the, um, no, you can't see it from here. I'm going to have to go over there. Uh, you're going to have to go to, like, in a space station or a base, but probably in the space station. Um, you're going to have to go to this portal, and, um, like, there will be, you can interact with it, and, uh, I've got my home of Burb City, some outpost and colony, um, my, and previous system. Actually, now that I think about it, you might, in fact, be running uh, low on money when in fact when in fact you do try to buy your ship so if you find that you don't have the maybe like 10 or 20 million that you will need for the ship then there's no point in wasting your time grinding i i was thinking about putting out uh, putting some time into constructing the absolute best uh, money farm with uh, the power of ionized cobalt right, uh, no, that's not what I want to do, uh, right here, that is possible. I was thinking about doing that, but I don't know if people are really interested in that, because there are already a lot of videos out there on the subject. So, uh, if you're interested in that, leave a comment, leave a like, and I will heed the people, if so, and concentrate my efforts on that. Okay, so, uh, long story short, I, um, I realized that I had been doing everything wrong because in this method you have to choose a portal coordinate that's in your galaxy, and I chose one that was not in my galaxy. If you're in the starting galaxy, then it's Euclid. If you're in another one, you're gonna have to figure that out. I can't figure that out for you. Apologies. But if you're, if you haven't switched galaxies as part of the story yet, it's not star systems and galaxies, big difference. You can't just warp to... It's, it's part of the story. Um, it, 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 sorry, minor spoiler alert. If you're in the Star Galaxy, you haven't switched, or you haven't already mentioned that, you're in Euclid. And so you can only go to places that are in Euclid until you switch. But, so all of those steps that I did still apply, I just did them to... I just went to a random uh, star system in my galaxy because it only applies, like, they can, the coordinates can be reused across galaxies. See, if you're in Euclid, you are in luck because as I was coming here to uh, purchase some more uh, Viking daggers to go activate another portal and go to a different fighter that I found on Reddit, I found this. This thing is beautiful. Like, I, I still do love my, my other little ship, that thing over there, L little baby. It's got the same thrusters and little tail. It's round, but this thing is just. Look at the that the fin and the 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 pointy point all the pointy bits. I I think it's great. I and if you want it, you can follow all those steps. If you're in the Euclid galaxy, that is. If you're in the Euclid galaxy, if you're not, you'll have to find something that is in your galaxy, on Reddit. If you're in the Euclid, Euclid galaxy, or like me. Uh, let me just show the coordinates right now. I will zoom in on them in post-production. Those are the coordinates you, those are the glyphs you need to input. I will just put the, uh, coordinates, uh, I'm going to open up my analysis visor and my coordinates will be up on the screen. I'll zoom in on those. So the coordinates right now, or those are the coordinates that you have to go to. So in any case, um, this thing is beautiful. You'll you'll just you'll probably just have to land, get out of your ship, and wait for a while. If ships don't start coming in after about a minute at the most, at the most, uh, then uh, you can uh, go back in your ship, get in, get out, and uh, reload your save. Uh, reload auto save. That is. Once the waves start coming in, they won't stop. Um, so once you've gotten one wave, you shouldn't reload again because it'll just keep on happening unless something weird happens. Like, y you can probably judge that for yourself in the moment. But if you want this beauty right here, if you want this thing, this amazing thing, come on over. Come on over and you can have it. Well, save for the uh, terrible explanation of portals that's coming right after this outro, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it, and if you didn't, feel free to dislike and I'd love to see your new ships in the comments. So without further ado, if you're interested in my attempt 
at a clear, concise explanation of portals, then here you go. Here we have No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has roughly 18 quintillion planets. That is a lot, an unfathomable amount. In any case, 18 quintillion planets, I would assume, and each, each, they're, they're divided into, uh, galaxies, some, uh, they're divided into galaxies, but first, the planets are divided into solar systems, and so some have less, but some have, some have more, it probably all balances itself in the end, because what, they would have, each galaxy would have about the same solar systems, and each, and there would be enough outliers and uh, variables with each amount of planets that it would eventually balance itself out. So each galaxy has an even number of those planets, and there are 256 galaxies. That's a lot of solar systems. I'm, I don't want to do the math, but that's a lot of solar systems per galaxy. And each solar system has its own set of glyphs. It might even be, I'm not sure if this is true, but it might even be that each portal, because there might, well, I don't know if there are multiple portals in the system, but if there are, it might be that there are multiple ones, or like, each planet has a portal, and so that, like, it, when you go to a portal, it says, get the address of this planet. So I assume that that would be, the that would, that would indicate that, that each planet has its own. That's a massive amount of glyph combinations that you need and you would run out eventually and so they you uh, the game reuses uh those addresses across galaxies because so if you're not so if you're in for example the euclid galaxy which is the starting galaxy so this is what i did and if you're in the euclid galaxy the starting galaxy you haven't switched galaxies and there's uh, uh, you find a an address in another galaxy, then if you go to that address, you'll just come to some random system in your galaxy. It's not going to be the same one because it reused the um, it reused the address. So don't do that like I did. 